Good morning. I'd like to thank you for continuing to follow us on this series of daily reflections. So today I'd like to talk about discrimination. Discrimination, there are at least three kinds of discrimination and I'll be telling you shortly about them. But our texts this morning are taken from the Gospel of St. John, chapter 10, from verses 11 to 18. And the first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 11, from verses 1 to 18. The first reading is a little bit long. The first reading is a story about Peter who had gone out to begin to talk to people who were not Jews. And at the time, remember that the Jews thought that God was their property. Every other person who was not circumcised, who was not a Jew, who was not a child of God. So they discriminated against such people. And when Peter began to talk to such people, the Jews were angry with Peter. So Peter explained to them how God had revealed to him in a vision that everything he created is good uh, by showing him many kinds of animals and then told him to kill and eat. And he told God, but that's not edible. God said everything I created is good. So that's the first reading. And then the Gospel reading, and Jesus continues his teaching on the, the Good Shepherd. And today he tells us that there's a difference between the Good Shepherd and the Hireling. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep, meanwhile the Hireling runs away as uh, immediately there is a problem. So I like to talk about three kinds of discrimination. The first one is what we all know, it's negative discrimination. Negative discrimination is when you treat people unfairly because of criteria that are based on race, color, um, handicap, or sex. So God clearly condemns that in the readings of this morning. Everything God creates is good. Every human being is a child of God. God is neither a Catholic nor a Jew. Because before the beginning of any of these religions, God existed and He still exists. So, child of God this morning, the first thing God wants to draw attention to is negative discrimination. Negative discrimination is always bad. And in some countries, like France, thank God, it is even an offense to discriminate against people on the basis of their religion or their tribe or their color. So that's a good thing and that we see in the scriptures of this morning. God tells Peter that, listen, everyone is my child. Whether they are Jews or Gentiles, everyone is my child. Then there's another, but there's another kind, second kind of discrimination, which is positive discrimination. Positive discrimination is when you make an effort to make up for what is lacking in the life of vulnerable people. That is actually a good thing, to positively discriminate against, uh, against setbacks for certain people. Positive discrimination is also called affirmative action in some circles. Imagine, for instance, that uh, you already have two oranges and your brother has uh, one orange. And I have three oranges to give to the two of you. Then I give to your brother, who already has two oranges, one more orange. And then I give to you, who has just one orange, two oranges. I have, been, I have discriminated against him because I have given you more than I have given him. But the truth is, I have, in the end, ensured that you both have three oranges. So that's positive discrimination and it is encouraged so that everyone has an opportunity and equal access to equal opportunity. It might not be the same outcomes. I mean, you can do juice with your orange and your brother might tell you he's going to play football. But that's not my making. What I should try to do is to make sure that you both have um, equality of opportunities. Now, a third kind of discrimination would be, um, uh, so there's negative discrimination, there's positive discrimination, uh, but there's also neutral discrimination. Uh, the word discrimination, by the way, comes from, it, it means the same thing as to discern, to be able to distinguish. Everything is not the same. Boys and girls are not the same. The old and the young are not the same. The winter and the summer are not the same. So we need to be able to discriminate in the sense of discerning the differences between things and people in order to treat them correctly. If, for instance, and this happens a lot, I like to end with this, by the way, if, for instance, you, uh, for some of us who come to uh, colder countries for the first time, like Europe, we do not know how to discern, how to differentiate between the times and seasons, because whenever we see the sun, we wear t-shirts in Africa. If you come to Europe and you see the sun in the beginning of, of, of spring and you wear a t-shirt and go outside, you're going to be cold. That's because here there can be sun and it doesn't mean that it's hot. Meanwhile, in Africa, once you have sun, it's always hot. So it's important to be able to discern, and that's one form of discrimination that is good, it's important to be able to give people equal access to equal opportunities, and that's positive discrimination. But what God wants us to avoid is negative discrimination, which is based on categories that are not uh, ontologically justifiable. I hope that you have a great day today and have a great week. May the mighty God bless you. Please keep safe. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.